going. Good morning and welcome to our Tuesday leadership call. I am so excited to have Rebecca on today and Monica on with us today, two of our coaches. Congratulations. Girls. So happy you Thank to, you. to join us too. Um, and then a huge congratulations to Daisy who advanced her business to the rank of diamonds since we were on our last call. So congratulations. That is huge. I know that you guys have been recognized on our bigger team calls, but I think it's just as important on our leadership calls to mention it too, um, especially because I know that this is, if you're on this call, it is all about leadership, growing your business and taking it to the next level. So brand advancements are always extremely exciting. So keep it up, keep it up. We've got our leadership retreat coming up. So as of right now, all of you guys qualify, um, you know, being emerald and above and just making sure that you're hitting successful consistently or really showing that you're working towards it. Um, today we are going to talk all about the art of storytelling. I am not talking about storytelling because I'm an expert on the topic, so please, anything I say, um, understand that I'm going off of something I read and things that I've learned in the past, and this is an area that I know I need growth in too, so I'm just trying to look for things that I think overall we could all um, benefit from learning more about. If you ever have topics or ideas, I'd love to hear them too. Um, so to get us started, I know we've all heard this quote, but facts tell, stories sell. I mean, let's be honest, you can ramble off facts for hours and people might act like they're listening, but really deep down inside, they are falling asleep. Um, at least I know I would be. So being able to relate it to people. But what types of stories should you be posting on social media or sharing with prospects one-on-one? -on -one? So three different types of stories that you should be sharing are your challenger's story, your company's story or your team's story, and your personal heart story. So we'll get more into detail about each one of them. So your challenger's story. Example, my challenger Sarah came to me with, you know, wanting to lose 20 pounds before her wedding in June. She's been hiding from the camera and just wants to make sure she feels like a confident bride. Sarah invested in herself with a challenge pack, began her health and fitness journey as part of our march, you know, march towards your goal challenge group. Now Sarah's life is so much better. She's already 10 pounds lighter. She's walking with more confidence. She has more energy and she's able to run two miles when a few months ago she couldn't even walk a mile. She's hitting her goals and, you know, elaborate, elaborate, elaborate. That's just an example of a story. But people want to see not only our success, because they're like, oh, you're a coach. That's fake success. You've, you know, you've had the success and that's why you're a coach. But they want to see that the people you've worked with are having success too. And this could be somebody who's lost as little as two pounds up to somebody who's lost a hundred pounds, you know, or more. It doesn't matter how big or little the weight loss. It's just have you been able to help solve a problem for somebody and how did you do it? So being able to share that. Today is Transformation Tuesday. I know that I'm always talking about sharing a Transformation Tuesday post, either about yourself or about one of your challengers, with permission of course. But every Tuesday and every Thursday, you should be doing some kind of transformation comparison story side by side. Honestly, my overall weight loss, it looks huge because I always factor in what I lost from the time I was pregnant with Brock to the time I hit my initial, like, or my end goal, so to say. But my real, like, my beach body transformation, I think I lost seven and a half pounds total. What was huge for me was that I was able to maintain that weight loss long term. So it's not necessarily about the amount of weight loss, it's what has it done for you. I used to suffer from binge eating disorder. I would have a horrible, horrible time. I would literally hide in the closets on Sunday night. This has helped me learn portion control. I can now eat foods that I love and that I crave throughout the week and not feel guilty about it and not feel like I need to binge on the weekend because I'm never going to get to eat it again. Um, you know, it took a long time to get there and it took a lot more than just beach body. And I will be honest with people about that. You know, I had to see a nutrition therapist, but it was not until I got my hands on those portion control containers that I was truly able to figure out what it meant to eat in moderation all the time. 
Um, so, you know, be sure to ch share your challenger story. You're more than welcome to share my stories, other coaches on our team, if they're open to letting you share their stories. You know, it's good to be able to share not only your story, but it is important, um, you know, to have, have those success stories to pull from. Another tip, oh, and everything that I got today that I'm talking about is from entrepreneur.com. I've been trying to read some of their articles and pulling bits and pieces from there. And one of the tips they gave, which I think is awesome, if you have a challenger or a coach who's willing to do this for you, ask them to record their success story or to like share actual clips. So I was having a conversation with a girl the other day who told me she's now wearing a size four. And, you know, even when she was 117 pounds, she couldn't fit in a size four. So now she's weighing like 125 pounds and she's fitting in that size. And she was so upset a few weeks ago because the scale was not budging. But here she is. She's gone from a size 10 down to a size four. Um, you know, so, it, and she's somebody like, if you looked at the picture, you wouldn't necessarily see a huge difference over time because like nobody looking at her would have thought, oh, you have a lot of weight to lose. Like, I think she's lost five pounds overall, but has dropped that many sizes. It's amazing what your body can do. So, you know, just having different testimonials and things like that to pull from. Number two, your company's story or your team's success story. So you might be thinking, oh, well, I just hit Emerald or, oh, well, I just signed up three months ago. I don't have a huge success yet. But think about what you're working towards and be sure to invite people to join you on to that. Um, so you could think of it as like when you first started, why did you start? What was the problem you were looking to achieve? Maybe it was just to get the discount on Shakeology. So you started to get a discount on Shakeology, saw how much fun the challenge groups were, realized that you could learn, earn a lot of money and go for it. And you know, this is what I'm working for. Who wants to join me? Um, I know for me personally, when I signed up, I literally had no idea what the 21 Day Fix was, no idea what Shakeology was. It was just like, I saw Autumn Calories on the front cover of my favorite magazine. I was like, I need to try this. So I tried it. Michelle talked me into, she didn't talk me into signing up as a coach, but she asked me about it. It sounded like a fun opportunity. So I signed up. Didn't realize how incredibly exciting it was until, you know, I started receiving feedback from challengers who were having results. Um, I think that was the first time I really realized I was making a difference. And then about six months in when I finally made my first, rank, like my big rank advancement to diamond, um, and starting to see the money gains, like the financial gains there, that made a huge difference for me. So being able to share that, whether it's as small as $40 a week, um, you know, adding up to like $200 a month to be able to help pay for groceries or help get one of those bills off the table or save up for an upcoming vacation, whatever it is for you that fits into your life and, you know, things that your team are working on, be sure to share that to invite people in. At this stage in your business, whether you only have two coaches under you and both are family members or you are, you know, close to diamond or pushing for beyond that. It is so, so, so important to continue recruiting and to work on recruiting and to always lead with the business. Um, you know, challenge pack sales are great and we want to change lives that way. And obviously we need to, they're the, you know, they are the basis of our business. But if you are looking to create an income or financial freedom or really, you know, put money towards a family vacation or things like that, you're going to notice the biggest gain from getting people onto your team. Something else I will mention about getting people onto your team is that when I sign somebody up as a discount coach, I never ever pressure them to do anything until they're ready. But um, what I've noticed is people who sign up as discount coaches are more loyal customers over time. Somebody who does not sign up for the discount off the bat, you know, I might get one to three, four max months of them being on Shakeology and they just have such a hard time finding the value in it. Um, you know, we're working on that in our challenge groups to see what we can do to really get it across to people. But it seems like for whatever reason, when people just sign up as a customer, they're just not seeing the entire value. Whereas our discount coaches, I have discount coaches who have been with me for over a year now who have continued to try new programs, try new products, drink their Shakeology daily. Um, and, you know, we'll go out and about and talk about it. We'll even send referrals my way, but just have no desire to work the business yet. But they're the loyal customers that we really want to bring on to our team. So 
Don't ever think of it as, oh, well, I'm going to lose out on the commission from their Shakeology every month. Think of it as I am creating a loyal Shakeology customer who is going to spread the good word and actually get results. And that's what we really want. We want our friends and our challengers to get results. They came to us with a problem. They invested in themselves. The worst thing we can do is just watch them fall off. And it happens. It happens to all of us. I, I know, and it pains me when somebody does fall off track, but you know, just keeping that in mind when you're putting that option out there. Um, so that's number two. And then number three is sharing your personal heart story. So turn your mess into a message. What got you started on your own journey? What got you started as a coach and what's taking you to that next level? So think about that. That's personal to everybody. Um, and you can really include in there your why. And we're going to talk about that in the next part, which is the five elements of a good story. So number one, who we are. So you're your own brand. Anybody can go buy 21 Day Fix, 22 Minute Hardcore, Pio. They can buy that off of TV Body. They can buy that off of Amazon. And you can go to your local yard sale, unfortunately, and buy one of those programs because everybody's, you know, there are people out there who have invested and then for whatever reason either didn't have the support, didn't have the motivation, and just let it go. Um, so what you're selling is really yourself. So who we are. Um, and this is really important because a lot of us spend a lot more time talking about number two, what we do. Um, but we really need to talk about who we are. And I think, I'm not going to say I think, I know that all of you on this call do a great job of sharing who we are. Um, because I see it in your daily posts. I see it in the way you share with others your story um, on social media. So I do think we do a great job of getting across to people like who exactly we are and our families and people, like I've had people message me who I've reached out to from liking my like page. I'm like, I just feel like I connected to you right away because you know, you're so real and you share so much of yourself. So just keeping that in mind, that that's a really important piece. Two, what we do. So we do need to talk about what we do, but the most important thing to do is keep it clear and simple. And you want to spell out the benefit of what you do for the person you're speaking with. How can you being a health and fitness coach help them? How can you being a team leader help them? Um, Jimmy Hayes Nelson at Super Saturday did a great job of talking about how, yes, he obviously still you know, sells challenge packs and gets people um, motivated on their health and fitness journeys. But his real goal is to help people create businesses. doesn't matter how new you are to this business. We have the tools to help people create their own businesses. In case you didn't realize it, you are your own business owner. You are an entrepreneur. You are a professional. I say this with so much passion because it's something I really struggled with. I didn't realize this for the longest time. And I invested a lot of money in a personal one-on-one -on -one coach to help me realize, you know, I have the power to make of this business what I want to make of it. I have the potential to reach as many people as I'm brave enough to reach out to every day. So just Remember that you have a ton of power in this business and you can do as much or as little as you want with it. Um, but just know that all of us on this call are here to support one another. I'm here to support each of you. So if you tell me you're shooting for a certain goal, I am here for you. Um, just know that I will match your effort as much as you are putting in. So just keeping in mind that what we do and keeping in mind what is it you want to get across to people about what you do. So I want women to know that I'm going to empower them to embrace self-care and wellness. I want them to feel more energetic, confident, and vibrant, but I'm also switching gears and have realized that, yeah, challenge groups are fun and I enjoy them and I'm thankful for them, but where I really thrive is doing this, is creating trainings, and I just... I love taking that leadership role of doing more training based things and getting people up and running with their businesses. So I have been putting a little more emphasis on recruiting lately. Um, 
I'm not necessarily taking a back seat in the challenge groups, but I'm really trying to focus on how can we grow and develop more leaders. So think about it. You know, I mean, what you want to do with this business is completely up to you. And then number three, so important, and I know you've heard it over and over and over, but why do you do it? What is it that you want out of this? Why do you do it? Um, that may be the deciding factor for somebody if they go with you or another coach. So make sure you have, you know, they say have a why that makes you cry. Be passionate about it and be willing to share it. I love cute little babies on team calls. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm like melting. <laughs> Sorry. Um, number four, how we do it. So give them, you know, like Josh Coates was always saying, Josh Coates was always saying, be sure to include in your posts, especially your invitation posts, that you're going to give them, you know, you're going to be there and give them a step-by-step -step guide to whatever it is they're doing. Make sure they know you're going to take them by the hand and help them. But again, being realistic in them knowing they still have to put in the work. Like, you can't be there at 6 o'clock every morning saying push play unless it's your spouse. I mean, you know, I had to drag Frank out of bed, but I can't do that to everybody else. Um, so you'll give them the tools. You'll give them the support. You're there to give them the step-by-step -step tools that help you get to this point in your business, but you can't do it unless they're willing to match you halfway. Um, and you want to share the how as well so that you can really establish that trust and credibility. And then number five is proof. So we kind of talked about this in sharing um, your challenger story, but has this worked for a challenger of yours? What did you do? Why did you do it? And how? And if you're a newer coach, this is where you can share one of your teammates' stories, somebody else on this um, you know, somebody else on our team and their journey, or you can share one of my challenger's stories and just share, you know, I'm new to this, but these are the goals that I'm hoping to achieve with my new challengers or my new coaches. Um, that is always okay. We all started at a day one. We all had a day one and we are all still in progress. You know, I never say that my after picture was ever my after picture. Here I am going through another journey again. I'm, you know, 12 weeks pregnant today, who knows where this is going to take me. And honestly, it's, it might feel like starting all over again come October. I, I don't know what, where my body's going to take me this time around. So just keeping in mind that we all have to start summer. We all have setbacks. And I'm very willing to admit on social media to people when I fall backwards with my nutrition a little bit or when I've missed a few days of working out. So just be open and real because people relate to that and they appreciate that, but they do also want the proof that it does work. And what happens when you fall off? Oh, well now I have these tools to use, but I know that I need a little support, extra support and accountability. So will you come with me? I'm looking for three women to join me. Let's do this together. I will give you this step-by-step -step tools you need you know, to support you on this journey. And then um, just another tip that I had read is when telling such a story, start by sharing the pain and difficulty that your challenger was facing when they came to you and explain what you did, why you did it, and the benefits the new challenger has now. Um, and this is really, this is why it's so important to ask so many questions to people that you want to get into, like, you know, to prospects or to people that come to you. And I know it can be hard, especially as the month goes on and on. And but I just have to hit success club. Like, here's the deal. You, for $140, you get X, Y, Z and me. Um, but that's just not enough sometimes. So taking the time to make that connection, ask the questions, know your challenger's whys and you know, why did they come to you in the first place? What is their area of need? So that eventually when they feel comfortable with you sharing your story, you have this to pull from. Um, instead of asking them, like, hold on, so why did you get started on this again? You know, I mean, and don't get me wrong, I've had it happen. I've had plenty of people, and I, I do regret it, bringing people in just because they were like, I just need the 21 Day Fix and Shakeology. How do I get it? And like, never asking why, because they're the people that drop off the quickest. Um, and that is pretty much, I know I like flew through that. I don't even, wow, I got it in in like 23 minutes. 
Um, <laughs> I know that Monica has to run. I want to be conscientious, like careful with everybody's time, but I hope that if you weren't able to get good notes, um, you know, you'll be able to catch the recording and take some good notes. And I will just say two more things before I open it up. One, okay, I do have two things to say. Gosh. I don't that quickly. I'm going to open it up, and if I remember, I will tell you guys in a few minutes. I am so sorry. I thought we were in for like another surprise or something. I was like, wait, oh my God, you're having a girl? <laughs> I won't know still for probably about like another month and a half, two months. No, oh my gosh. I, I totally had two more things to say. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Completely gone. Completely gone. So I will. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, if you have any questions or anything, you. Oh, oh, okay. I remember. One of them had to do with the National Wake Up Call. If you haven't listened to it from yesterday yet, try to make a point of listening to it when you can sit down with a notebook and pen. I made the mistake of, well, you know, you never know if you're going to like need to take copious notes or not, but. I made the mistake of like running around and trying to take notes while listening to it. So I definitely want to go back and listen to that. That was awesome. Shay Stanford gave a lot of great, great um, ideas of conversation starters. She doesn't believe in scripts, but I, which I completely agree. You know, we have some scripts to use in our pages and they're helpful sometimes, but it's so much more important to be genuine. That was um, point number one. Definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you get a chance this week when you can sit down with pen and paper, I know that's next to impossible sometimes for some of us, um, but if you can, it was a great, great call. Um, and I will try to, when I do the notes, I will try to type them up and share them too, but I can't promise. And then just the other point again, you know, we were lucky enough to have Jimmy Hayes Nelson visit us on Saturday, and I think that's what compelled me to talk about storytelling today. Because, yes, I get that he was in theater and in the arts and wanted to be a performer. And now is technically a performer. But um, I just, the way he started off by telling his story, I was so drawn into everything he was saying because he wasn't just spilling off, you know, oh, yeah, I'm in the Millionaire's Club. Oh, yeah, you know, like all this and that. He was so genuine and connected us to where he had been. You know, I mean, he shared that. He had failed so many times. He had dropped out of college. You know, he was living on a mattress in like a, a tiny, tiny room and his parents had to like ask him to come back home. You know what I mean? So it's just so important to be able to be vulnerable and to be able to share. So that was, that was the other point. I'm so happy I remember. Anybody, I can turn off the recording if anybody does not feel comfortable you know, having questions recorded. I know this is our, our leadership plan, but I do like to get the answer out. Of it, so. it's, I think that was good. Like you tapping into, I mean, this is, it's all about us sharing our story and, you know, and that's what we do. And we just have to kind of get out of our comfort zone and just put it out there. Um, but everyone, you know, does their own thing in different steps. So, yeah. but, um, yeah, just sharing it is, is critical. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. And it can be, you know, I mean, you can share little snippets throughout the week. And then, like, say on Sunday, do a really big, long post. You don't have to share the big, long post all the time or, you know, every month. But just being able to make sure that you're putting pieces into it out there. And then when you're connecting with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, really, I'm really getting deep with them. Cause I know I've had people reach out to me and get pretty deep with me who I haven't really even known yet. Um, and I think that's, if they're going to be that open and vulnerable with you, I think it's important to be able to try to connect your story to theirs. I know that there are some stories that we just can't relate to for whatever reason, but when you try to. If Daddy get Clementine. Yeah. I, I agree. Okay. Maybe you'd like to be able to do this. And then you say a session like this is good because it reminds us of breaking things down, mm -hmm. especially the who we are. You know, yeah. because we're a lot of different things, a lot of different people. 
You know, I wear a lot of hats myself, you know, with all that I'm involved in and just in my family alone, you know, but we all, you know, a wife, a partner, a mother, a, you know, sister. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're so many things to so many different people and we motivate people and, and inspire people on so many different levels. And I, you don't realize until out of the blue you, that bing comes up and it's somebody reaching out to you and they just tell you, you know, you have inspired me. I know we don't know each other, you know, and then they say, I, th I don't know if this is awkward for you that you don't, you don't know me, but, and I'm like, Hey, you, know, you have no idea. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> So I appreciate it's so much better when they reach out to us oh, in yeah. that term, but I had never even, I must've just friended this person and, and she just reached out and just really wanted to put it out there. So part of the story that you're putting out is, is what is connecting, you know, that connector for somebody else. Yeah. So, and you just never know, you know, I mean, you could tell the same story 15 times you never know that one time when somebody is going to read it and it's going to hit them. Um, you know, I mean, the same person could have seen, I'm saying like for the same exact person, the same person could have read it 15 times, but on that 15th time, it was like, oh, this is what I really needed to see today. Because it clicked for them. But again, that goes back to, I know you switched to for the same person, but again, it's for different people because of the way Facebook works. Mm, We're algorithm. not in everybody's feed. So mm -hmm. don't think that your story's tiresome because it's not. Of course, we have those same people that always see our stuff, but it's for the ones that don't always see it. And they're the ones that, um, you know, that we reach. Exactly. Very um, cool. Keep it going. Very That's cool. a note to myself today to keep it going. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'll admit there are times when, you know, we're working harder and really pushing. And then there are other times where, you know, sometimes you need a, a few days off or sometimes you just need to nap when the baby naps or sometimes you have to think about and take care of yourself. And all that stuff is important to share too. You know, I mean, it's okay to be real. It's okay to say, I've been lacking a little motivation too. You know, haven't been I haven't been working as hard towards my business goals, but guess what? Today I'm scheduling these three hours. And you know, if you're interested in setting up a call with me during this time, I'm keeping this time open for you. You know, I mean, you could kind of do that just to keep you on your toes. You never know. Like just comment me below and I'll reach out to you. That's a great one. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we're all real too. And then show them like what part of the, you know, what part of the business is like I've been working on meal planning. I've been working on planning challenge groups, yada, yada, yada. I've been trying to respond to everybody in my inbox, but sometimes, sometimes you get a little tired. It was a long weekend too. Super Saturday was so full of energy, but it was, it was a long day. Yeah. Anybody else? Anything exciting? Anybody you want to share? So I wanted to share, it has nothing to do with our call, but before I forget, so I'm in that Josh Coates training. Yeah. So there's two people that like really attracted my attention to like want to reach out to. Um, so Lindsay Weiss is in that training. Yes, I knew that. Uh, Lindsay Weiss, yes. She was actually, she did March 14th national wake up call. Hmm. Not cool. Wow. Yes. Yes. So I was kind of like stalking her on Facebook, but, and looking at her stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool that she's in that group. That um, really cool. so I don't know because you and Leslie have taken the training. Like, do you reach out? Like, do you wait a couple of days, like, or week weeks to reach out to these people or, should I just kind of send her a message? I'm, I'm debating on either her or this other girl that I've been like trying to just to get some feedback on how they do things. Um, and you know, again, we're all a community. So if I can get some pointers from others that have been in the, in, you know, in the, in, in this for, you know, have been in, in it for years, like why not? Um, I just don't know how to approach them. <laughs> approach them. 
I had didn't reach out to a single person and I got to hand it to you, Daisy. Way to go. Don't oh, I'm going to approach. I just don't want to come off in a way that like, oh, you're you know, some people are funny. I don't know. I think the one thing that I would make sure you keep in mind, because Christine Dwyer talks about it all the time in her podcast, is just to make sure, like, when you reach out, again, you're reaching out from a genuine place. You don't want it to seem like you're asking them in any way to mentor you or to support you or to, like, give you some secret, because, honestly, they'll probably tell you there is no secret. It is the three vital behaviors. Um, But you could just be like, you know, maybe check out a few of their YouTube videos first, see what they have to offer and be like, I just loved that video you shared on X, Y, and Z and see if you can come up with a question from yeah. there. Well, the one girl, it's funny because I've been following her for months on Instagram. Oh, okay. And she's friends with Sean T. Well, then you know what? To be able to share that is like, I had no idea, you know, I had no idea we were going to be in this group together. I've literally been okay. for months, like, had and again, just from like that place of exactly, like I just want to be friends, yeah. <laughs> like, and it's seriously like I just like her style, like the one girl yeah. Melissa it's Herrera. I just, yeah, I just like her style, and when she's, I saw that she was in this group, and it's so funny because she presents herself like she's like this top like ten coach, and she's a two star diamond, which is amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, but like. I really thought she was like top 10 yep. because that's just the way she puts herself out there. And I was like, you know what? You rock. Like, so that right there just kind of like attracted me to her because of her style and how she's putting herself out there. Keep that in mind while you're posting. I know. I know. Sometimes I, I kind of like, that I know. I have you're to, top 10 coach too. Exactly. I just have to, you know, when I post, like just be more confident and just, you know, I do have on my phone, like I'm confident. I, and full of knowledge and I have that reminder on my phone because sometimes like I know we all struggle with this like we kind of like just doubt ourselves yeah oh yeah so yeah definitely but yeah I mean hey as long as you're coming at it from a genuine standpoint and you're not like hey um I'm just looking because I know I only know that from listening to Christine who because she's always like if you wanted my information you could have joined my team <laughs> right Hey, by the way, can I get some samples of some scripting? <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. Like, what is it that you email to me? <laughs> what are you doing to get all these followers on Instagram? Yeah. How do you make Success Club 30? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I think, I think we're... We're good. That was a good call. Awesome. Thanks so much. I'm so excited to see Leah and Monica on here and to have seen Rebecca on here. Thank you. Well, obviously, I've had it on. I'm sorry. I've had it on mute because I was on the road and it was like kind of noisy, but I was listening in on everything. And um, I just wanted to share that like today I walked into the office and so many people were like, wow, Monica, you've been such an inspiration. You're really starting to motivate me. You know, I want to work out. And I didn't even, like, you know, they're not people that have commented or people that I've noticed that have been on my page, but they're watching. Yeah. And That's so they're awesome. just, you know, normal, everyday, regular people that really want to get exercise into their normal routine but just like I was I felt like I didn't have time I couldn't do it and then when you see that someone else is doing it it's like wait a minute well if she can do it I can do it yes. and I'm getting a lot of response from people awesome. that I work with even someone that said do you want to start up like a challenge group here like the biggest loser Ooh. or something and I'm like yeah. yeah that would be great that's great so it's it's just I'm not the most, like, I just started this, and I, I started this in February, and I'm not, like, the most athletic, um, you know, fit person, so I'm a little um, intimidated to take on that challenge because I want to make sure that if I agree to doing something that I'm going to be able to pull through and be successful at it. So I just thought it was pretty awesome today. There were at least four people that as I was walking through the hallway that worked, they just stopped me to like say you look great or, you know, congrats or you've been an inspiration. That's and awesome. that really meant a lot to me. Yeah, it was really, really cool. 
He hasn't updated because yeah, honest, none of us were like athletes or anything 